All right, Tetron Invest with a brief GME update. Just look at the price action today. It says it all. I mean, that random crash at one o'clock, uh, what, down like $15 a share or something like that. Like, you really think that many people or an institution wants to sell their shares before, before a stock dividend split? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, right? It really looks like it was designed to create fear, right? I mean, maybe it was an institutional sell, but an institution that has interests that may be aligned with another institution who's heavily short, right? Wouldn't you listen to that phone call if they have controlling power over you and say, all right, dump your shares. I mean, maybe something like that happened. I don't know, just theory. Of course, not as financial advice. These are just my thoughts and opinions. But what today reminds me of is that random day in March, 2021, where the price started in like the 200, ran all the way to 350, crashes in like one hour, all the way down to like 170 or something like that, ridiculous. And then closes the day back in the 200s. And there was halts. It wasn't even that much volume, right? Considering the kind of price action for the stock price to be cut in half on no news at all. No news at all. And the stock price was cut in half midday. Like think about how bonkers that is, right? And what I'm getting at is I feel like the same kind of thing happened today. And we've seen events like this where randomly the stock will just drop, right? A massive amount in a short period of time on no news at all, right? Like we've seen countless eight, 9% negative days of GameStop on nothing, right? No news. And then we get good news and the stock like doesn't move, right? So it's just none of it makes any sense. But what does kind of make sense or what I'm kind of seeing or thinking is what happened today? Were they trying to do something like they did in March of 2021? But now because so many individuals have DRS, so many individuals just hold the stock, aren't as like feared as maybe as, and there's also a lot more that people know now in July of 2022 compared to March of 2021, right? There's huge differences. So it looked like today they're trying to do the same type of thing, maybe in theory, and they could barely knock it down, only like 10 or $15 a share. And it just started bouncing back and just kind of went sideways. And I mean, we closed the day down 3% when we were up like seven or something like that. So, I mean, I think it was one of those things like, this is all they can really do is these silly attacks, right? To try and like scare people, especially right before the split, right? Maybe they did it because there's a lot of buying pressure that's coming tomorrow. I mean, I don't know. My other thought is just tomorrow is the cutoff date at the end of the day. So like if something, if there's a re share recall or any kind of complication with the split, we're going to start hearing about it next week or the news of it will start coming out or there will have to be some course of action, right? So if the split does get delayed mainstream media will be all over that oh GameStop doesn't want to do the split and they'll spin it as a bad thing this and that but in reality I think it will be a type of situation where if that split doesn't happen there's a reason and it's not good for somebody who's betting against the stock right that's just kind of my thought but we'll see what plays out I just don't get distracted by the noise today just focus on the fact I like the company and we know there's going to be more information coming soon within a couple weeks um, it was in Matt Furlong's memo talking about updated information for store leaders and field employees, right? Like the store. So I'm really excited to see what's to come with that. And we know the wallet still needs to be released in app form. The NFT marketplace still has more aspects coming to it. So I'm just going to keep focusing on the company. Ignore the noise. I think it'll be a fun next couple of weeks to watch, but I just like the stock. Have a great day.